Hello and welcome dear folks, this is Raffles M1 slash Swimton and I'll be teaching you guys about a, another tutorial that I'll be making today which is about how to amplify your music files in Sony Vegas properly because sometimes when you want to edit your music files when you try to play it max volume on your music playing device if you feel that it's not enough in here in Sony Vegas I was able to amplify my music to prevent it from being distorted like sometimes when the bass is too loud and it clouds over the music overall or where the vocals is a bit painful to your ears so that will be rectified in this tutorial but first and foremost I apologize for my inactivity on YouTube yeah it's because I lost the motivation for a while you know I was I wasn't looking forward for um, games since that's the that's what I do overall on my channel you know so yeah I, I wasn't able to do that because you know I lost the passion in looking forward and playing and recording games so yeah but maybe sooner or later I'll have that I'll I'll get it back so anyways let's go back to the topic at hand so first of all you have to import your music file and the music file that I would use is a non-copyrighted release which is the namesake of the channel by the way that I will leave the credits in the description and it's by JJD Halcyon an NCS release which I can freely use hopefully no copyright so yeah so choose any of your music files import it here on your Sony Vegas Pro then drag this on the, the timeline here after that, we need to drag another one onto the second timeline. We would be able to compare from the amplified one with the original one, which is the one on top. So next, we're going to try and see the level of the output meter once we play the original here, so that we'll be able to compare it properly. So in here, let's mute the second one and just let's listen it on it on. Um, four to five. Notice that the output meter is on 0 0.3. So we see that it's 0 0.3. So what about when it's already amplified? So we go here. To the one that we will that we will amplify now so first of all we need to go to switches right click it first then go to switches then normalize you would see the changes in the wavelengths on the track um, if it works because in most cases the normalize for me in my, that it usually doesn't work when you click normalize so anyways what does the normalize function do basically what I know of is that it just boosts the volume of the track to a certain level it prioritizes a certain volume to increase then next we go to the volume slider obviously and we go and we slide it to the rightmost part yeah we just increase the volume here then if it's still not enough for you you can go here the automation settings which is the touch ones um, but first you need to go to the beginning of the clip here because when increasing this it's like a keyframe though like for example if you go here and then increase the slider here it will only the volume in on this part and onwards will be increased but the ones on the left here follow the mouse here will not be increased so let me just undo that and go here in the beginning click this increase the volume from the beginning so yeah so that it will apply to all and now it's fully amplified but it's not amplified properly because when you listen to it here brace yourself <laughs> So yes, it sounds like that. So in order to fix that, we have to go to use the track FX here. So yeah, we click this. And as you can see that, we have three components here, which is track noise gate, track EQ, and track compressor. But first, we must remove this, the video preview. We don't need that at all. So yeah, we go at track EQ. Yeah, we go here, track EQ. Then go to the preset, the drop down here, click it, and choose 
boost bass frequencies below 250 Hz by 4 decibels. Choose that. What I'm doing here basically is, you know, I'm actually decreasing the volume of the bass because usually when you amplify the music, the bass, it clouds the music overall and you can hear the bass a bit too much kind of painful so in order to fix and properly amplify the music you have to decrease the bass volume so in here we go to the gain slider and slide it to the leftmost part yeah we decrease the bass of the gain let's listen to that but in a less lesser volume now uh, let me just decrease the volume so that you guys would know the difference let's go to 45 You hear the bass, it's a bit low-key now, but before, when we turn this back to a normal level, which is 0, zero or close to that, listen to it again. Note, I'm, I'm just playing it by a decreased volume, you know, it would sound totally different if it's already amplified. Yeah, so you can hear the bass a bit more clearly, but you know if it's amplified you have to sacrifice the volume of the bass so that you would hear it more clearly. So yeah. So we increase the volume here. Go we put it back and put this back. And then after that we go to track compressor. So in here the things that we would manually adjust is the threshold and the amount. The ones here, uh, we can just ignore that or you can just click this. Usually it doesn't have any effect for me, but you know, you can just ignore it. So anyways, back to the threshold thing. So the threshold, what it does is that it like decreases the volume without affecting the volume slider here. So like so. <laughs> By the way, you need the amount so that it so that the threshold would work because the amount increases the threshold at the same time. So yeah, to keep track of the volume reduction, you have to look at the reduction meter over here. When the bar, as you can see here, the bar, the orange bar here, when it goes to the leftmost part, it means that the volume is already decreased to a certain level. The more it goes to the left, the more it decreases. You know, basically you just decrease the volume to however you like. And also, the threshold would also make the uh, amplified version of your track more clear and it would also make it more louder than the original one. Anyways, as you can see here in the output meter, it's already by it's already at 26.4 compared to the other one which was 0.3 you see the difference yeah it's a big difference so let me just edit this to how i want it to sound like <laughs> There. Anyways, that's how you properly amplify it. Anyways, that's how you properly amplify a music track with Sony Vegas. If you'd like to render it, I use a dot wav dot wav here I go here and this I use this template to render my project here I use the default template the default template contains um, is this it's practically this it's the 48,000 hertz 16 bit stereo PCM that's what I use to render my my soundtracks so anyways I guess that's it for today thanks for watching my tutorial I hope you you've learn something from this and don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe because i need it this is rifle 71 slash e3 something peace i'm out